guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I get the pleasure of sharing our homeschool room with you guys. So I'm so excited to share. Um, this is actually the first year that we're doing homeschool. Um, my sister has done it for like 13 plus years. So she like knows a lot. So she has been such a good resource, resource for me to just kind of like draw from. Um, I've always been kind of timid about it, but now that we've actually like taken this plunge, I'm so excited and the kids are so excited. So Pray for us, tomorrow's our first day. So we are like chomping at the bit to get going. The homeschool room is all done. We're just, we're like very prepared. So we're excited. Um, I mean, different times I've had like doubts. Like I've told my sister, like, I don't know if I'm qualified to be, you know, a homeschool teacher. I don't know if I'm qualified. And what she told me was she's like, of course you're qualified. You're the most qualified person because you're their mom and you love them the most out of anybody. So I was like, uh, duh, yeah. So. Um, I love having encouragement like that. And if you are going to do homeschool or thinking about doing it, just, I want to encourage you in the same way that of course you're qualified, you love them the most, and you're going to do everything you can to teach them. Um, and if you guys have any questions about what we're doing, and if you need like advice, um, put your comments down below and I'll be happy to answer you like what curriculum, what, whatever, I don't know, whatever you can think of, put that down below and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Um, also my Instagram account, I have like a little highlight on my Instagram account. You can go and click and see, um, different things that we've talked about with homeschool. So that has a lot more information on there, but really, I mean, we're just starting out. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trial and error, but I'm just, I'm really excited. I think this is what God wants us to do. And we're just really excited to dive in, but, um, I'm going to give you the tour. I'm going to link as much as I can. And then, um, but when I tell you, like, when I show you everything, I'll tell you where we got it and all the like details and stuff like that. So, um, and I do want to show you the before because, um, I don't know. I love a good a before and after. I really do love a good before and after. So what else was I going to say? Yeah. The cool thing about our homeschool room is it could easily be turned into an office. So if we ever decide to change your mind and do another type of schooling, we could always do that. So this doesn't even necessarily have to be a homeschool room you could just use it as an office because it's very it's very chic I can't wait to show you so let's let's start the tour <laughs> Welcome to the homeschool room. This was originally Richard's office and I'll show you the before But this was Always my plan to do a really dramatic Accent wall in this room even when it was just gonna be an office But I just thought why not do it still even though it's gonna be a homeschool room I really think you can have function and beauty at the same time. So that's what I Really love about this wall. It just makes a statement and it's just, it's going to be so cozy in the colder months. We can put candles in that fireplace area or lights or whatever we want to do. I actually originally thought about painting it black on the inside, but then Richard started doing the brick and I was like, whoa, that is amazing. He still has to do the mortar in between, but he got all the brick on there and then we just need to do the mortar. But maybe, I don't know, maybe eventually I'll paint it black to be a little bit more dramatic, but it's really hard. Like, how can I paint over such beautiful brick? So this is the same brick that we have in our living room on our fireplace in our living room. And I love this mantle so crazy much. I actually am thinking about getting another one for our living room just because I love it. I'm like, ah, obsessed. I love how it looks like stone. And all you have to do is just, there's just screws on the back. So you just attach it to the wall with the screws. So easy. So beautiful. Yeah, obsessed. It's very much like a French kind of vintage country vibe in here. So I really do love that. I didn't really think my style was French vintage, but I'm digging it. Kind of like a little farmhouse, a little vintage, a little French. That's kind of like the vibes. Okay, so let's start in this kind of corner here. I wanted a nice little reading corner for myself, for the kids, just a space that we can just cozy up. I showed last video that we got it at Home Goods and I'm so glad we found it. You can actually sit two people on here 
or just curl up if you want to like wrap your feet up. You can do that too to have more space. So I love that it's super cozy. I added this pillow here from Amazon. These two pillows came with it, but I love how this kind of mirrors the pattern on the wall. It's kind of a cool, cool little uh, boho touch there. And then over here, I have a little table from Target. I actually painted it more of a shiny gold because I wanted it to be a little bit more of like a glamorous type sheen to it. It comes more like antique bronzy type. So that um, is what it originally looked like. And then Richard did this whole wall. He is amazing. We went to that refurbish or reclaim place and got all this wood for super cheap. I can't believe how cheap we got it, but he did such a good job, even around like the outlets. He did such a good job like cutting out and doing all these measurements. He is so crazy talented. And speaking of crazy talented, can you believe he made this table? So this wood we also got from that reclaim place and he did all of these cuts and nailed it and I did the lacquer and sanding. It was really a family effort. We all did a little bit to it. So he said if he did it again, he would definitely do some things differently. Like I think he would use glue because he didn't use glue. He just did nails and then lacquer, but he got it so close. And some places I want to say like along here, it's a lot more tight. So there's like a tiny bit of gaps, but not bad at all. And you know what? I kind of just, I love a rustic table. I think it's I think it's so cool. I kind of want to show you guys without the stuff here. So you can see it's like a mirrored chevron. That's so pretty. And by the way, this wood I think is cedar. So we have all of these things on the middle of the table. So they're all ready to go. We like sharpened every pencil. We made sure everything is totally ready. We're so excited to get started and use all of these. I think I got these at Target a long time ago. But yeah, I love that it's all like organized and ready to go. This bench down here is from Pier 1 and we stole it from the kitchen. I don't know what we're gonna do. That's like one kind of problem we have in here is we don't have enough seating and there's nothing that I really love. Like if you look at this room, it's like, ah, gorgeous. But I'm afraid like when I put chairs in here, if it's gonna look crazy busy. So for now, we're gonna borrow the other dining room bench and bring it in here every day so there's more than enough seating for everybody. But I don't think that that's like too hard of a thing to do until I figure out what I wanna do. And then this is just the office chair that we originally had in here. So maybe I'll sit in here different times when I'm teaching. Maybe I will kind of push it to the end and then the benches will be on the side. So we can kind of do something like that. But yeah, I think we're gonna, I think it's gonna work. We'll see though. It's all kind of uh, trial and error, right? We have little alphabet sign charts number charts here. These are for Stella. So those are all ready to go. I put them on like the back side just so it just looks a little cleaner on the table that way when they're on the back side like that. And over here I have some candlesticks. I can't remember exactly where I got them from. I'll have to look them up, but I'll try and link those for you guys. Which is kind of like a cool worn out vintage looking set. So, and I love the different heights to them too. All right, so for on top of the mantle, I have the day and the month here. So the kids have already been having a fun time switching out the day every day. I love how it just looks so cool. It looks so glamorous. There's like other ones that I've seen, but I really like the look of that one. I got this board at Home Goods, but it didn't have enough letters. So I ordered more letters on Amazon, but they do not fit the way that the ones that the ones that came with this board fit, like they're falling off. So it's very precarious and I'm not too happy with like the, the whole fit of it and how it's like barely hanging on. But for now it's gonna work and I absolutely love the song. It's beautiful. If you guys haven't heard that song, you should go check it out. It's just one of the most gorgeous songs. 
I have some fresh cut dahlias from our yard. I have this little pumpkin spice candle that is honest to goodness, the best pumpkin spice candle. And it's non-toxic with a cotton wick. That's so important for us. I'm all into natural things, so I love that. I also have an apple one too that smells just as good. And then I got like this little calendar from Target as well. So it's nice, we can see our days and all that right up there. And we're definitely gonna be burning that candle a lot just to make it cozy in here. I'm all about ambiance. <laughs> On this corner, we ended up putting three bulletin boards. We got these last, at the end of last year when we started to do homeschool, like online school, and I wanted some place for them to hang their stuff. So we actually already had these. These are from Amazon, I'll link them down below. But these are awesome because they're not like your typical bulletin boards. They look a little bit more chic to me. So we have one for each of the kids, except for Holt, because he's not doing school yet. But Cell so will be on the bottom, and then Hugh, and then Evie, because of, you know, the heights. But we have their days here all lined out. For some reason, this one printed crooked, but the other one's printed straight. So we'll put, like, their name, and we'll cross things off as we do them for the entire week. So this will be really nice that we can actually have a good visual of how everyone's doing and what they've all done. So I really like that. And then also like a fun place to hang their artwork or different things that they're working on. It's like, I want this room to be chic, but I still want them to have space to like display their things and have pretty things to look at on the walls. So this is like a really great way to do that. And you can always like mix it up too. So that is really nice. And then I got this basket at a vintage store. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with it, but this is like why baskets are so amazing because it seems like I can always find a use for them. With the curriculum that we chose, they recommend having a book basket available. So any books like relating to what you are teaching about and they have like a list of different things from the library that you can get that kind of relates to what you're teaching. So, so good. And then you can just have like random stuff in here too for a reading time. So I love this. I love that it's set up in a cute basket like that. I think that is so cute. I have like what they're reading about, like I have the pages marked so that they can kind of dig right in. So that will be ready for the first day of school. All right, moving on to this hutch. We actually got this hutch off of Craigslist for $20. Can you believe that? So. I know that there's a lot of hutches that look like this, but this one was actually custom made. Like you can definitely tell that it's handmade. And I love that. Like it's it's a little bit rough, but I honestly love it. I think it looks like cool and really old and really unique that way. Like you can see all the detail and all the cuts that they did. And it's, it's pretty cool. Richard was definitely admiring it because with all of his woodworking, he can tell like what is good quality and what isn't so. We're definitely excited to score this and I love that it like just makes the room all come together and it's cool focal point on this wall. And it also it divides up the wall too a little bit. We did add a couple things just to make it kind of more fun. We got this cork board on Amazon. We put it on here so we can use it as an extra bulletin board, maybe for some things that we don't want to see all the time necessarily, so we can just close it. And then on this side, we just spray painted it with chalkboard paint. So that is all ready to go. If we want to have like a chalkboard to write on, we can just open that right up and voila, it's right there. I love that. I think it looks so cute that way. Just and one more thing that it just gives it character and usefulness. <laughs> I say usefulness. So yes, love that. Over here, I got these organizers off of Amazon. These are really cool because you can actually take out these whole entire things and take them wherever you want to go. So if you want to do school outside or at the park, wherever, you can just take this whole package. Like, let's go do writing. She put ELA for English Language Arts. I think that's what that stands for. Evelette helped me a lot with this. So she's going to have to help explain how she organized it. But she is so responsible. It's so nice depending on her. So she has her spelling and writing, all that good stuff in there. And because of Stella's grade, she is doing a separate curriculum. It is from the same company, but it is for her younger age group. So 
she has all of hers on one side. So these things are super nice. I'll make sure and link the exact ones. It does have come with rollers too. We just took them off because we don't need rollers. We can just put them in this thing. So if you do want them, um, yeah, they come with them. So that is a really nice little option. We have our Bibles down here. So those are all ready to go. We have these little mini chalkboards. So that is a great thing. We might get whiteboards. I'm not sure yet, but so far we have chalkboards and I love the look of these because they just look cool and vintage and very much the vibe of this room. Down here we have spiral notebooks. We have our read aloud books. So different times during I during school, I'll be able to do read aloud time with them, which I'm really excited about. We have two different computers here. This one is mine and this one we got for actually from Richard's work. So it's nice to have just an extra one if we need to do online things. And then down here, we have two drawers. I got these baskets that fit in here perfectly from Target. We just have our tape, our little bulletin board pins, a label maker, hot glue gun, regular glue, glue sticks, chalk for our chalkboard, and then scissors. So that's all right there. And we have our headphones and stapler. It's pretty self-explanatory. That's all right in there. Down below. We have our printer and our copier. We got this thing from Amazon. This is really nice because it divides up your papers. I did have them all stacked on top of each other and then quickly realized when you try to pull out one, it's gonna like be such a pain and knock over everything. So this is really nice to keep it all separate so you can easily grab something and you don't destroy the whole pile. We actually have a laminator down here. The curriculum called for, what is it called? Contact paper, but my sister's like, just get a laminator. They're super cheap and it's just way nicer. So it's only like 25 bucks. We have three, pull, three hole punch, magnifying glass. We have different things down here for just random supplies that I put in mason jars. We have pattern blocks. I have different things down in here for Holti to get into like coloring books. We have like this little light bright toy, which is awesome. It lights up and it's also good for travel. So you can just take this on a road trip if you want. And that's a really nice thing to have. So I love those. And I think that's pretty much all that's in here. We have like pipe cleaners kind of do for crafts if we want to. And yeah, that is it for the hutch. So for over here, I got a new garbage can. I quickly realized we we're gonna need a garbage can in here. We don't wanna walk to the kitchen every time we have to throw a paper out. So that'll be really nice. We can just put our papers right in there. And then on top of here, I have this awesome vintage American flag that I got at an antique store. This has been hanging over our kitchen hood for like July 4th, actually pretty much all summer. I just loved it in our kitchen. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna move it into here. We're gonna say the Pledge of Allegiance every day and yeah, I really want my kids to learn that. So I love having the flag in here. And this one is just extra cool. I have a cute book sitting here talking about, because the curriculum we're using is um, about countries and cultures this year. So that is a really beautiful book for them to grab. And then over here, we just have our pencil sharpener. So that is nice and ready to go. We've used it a lot already just to sharpen all of our pencils and get those all going. This is for like our home office. So we're still gonna be using this room as a home office just in, I mean, it's just a desk. So we can just come in here, pay bills, whatever we need to, and then file it away in our filing cabinets. Most of this stuff I think is home office stuff. But yeah, we'll put like our bills there or different things that we need to take care of. But down here I do have some homeschool things like all of their binders. I need to figure out how to get like these labels to stick better but they have all their binders down here. And I also have this thing that I got from Target. So this thing is really awesome and just cute. I love this kind of stuff, isn't it so cute? It makes me so excited. But this is for like their random worksheets and things. I can just file right in there. And it's nice just to have a place to put the loose, the loose papers in. So it all fits nicely in here. This filing cabinet my mom actually scored and I, snagged it from her. I said, mom, can I have that? She's one of the most generous people. So of course she said yes. So this has been in our office for a while now, but I really, I love it. I think it's 
so beautiful and so much filing and storage. So fun to have something beautiful and functional. I'm all about that. And then on this wall, we're gonna do a big world map, but my mom is actually getting it laminated for us. So once that's done, we will hang it on the wall in here and we'll be able to study that because we're gonna be learning all of the countries of the world. So it'd be nice to have a big map ready to go. I do, I can't remember you guys where we got this light fixture. I'm gonna have to look up that too, but when I find it, I'll link it down below, but I love it because it just has like this vintage vibe looking to it. So a little antique gold goodness. One other thing, I keep on seeing things I forgot to say. That is from Cost Plus World Market. We got this cute little globe. I love that it has like little gold accents to it. I think that's really beautiful. I think I told you everything where it's from, I think. So if I didn't, just message me and I love to answer. So I will answer you and let you know. But that is it. Oh, and you guys didn't see the legs of the table. He made the cool X pattern. It's like a reoccurring theme is the chevron and the X pattern around our house. So I love that. And we, did, we didn't stain the legs either. We just left them rough. And then that is the view out our front window. We already talk about like how we're excited just to sit in here and watch the rain or watch whatever out the front door. It'd be so pretty. And we also have a horse that likes to come around so we can watch the horse too. Maybe we'll have to get carrots and incentivize it to come over. So that is the complete tour. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. I hope this was inspirational and I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.